in this video, we're going to learn what happens when you plug the USB-C cable into your Jackboard Basic. This is the first in a series of 10 Level 1 videos, intended for those starting out with the Jackboard Basic. It assumes that you have no prior knowledge, and is designed to get people going so they can make the most of their basics. For the full list of videos in this series, search the TMT code shown on the screen by going to jb.works and use the TMT code at the bottom of the screen to get to the Jackboard Basics homepage. For this video you're going to need one Jackboard Basic, a USB-C cable, and make sure that it's a data USB-C cable and not just a charging one, and a PC or a Chromebook that can run either Google Chrome or the Microsoft Edge web browser. When you plug a USB-C cable into the Jackboard Basic, a number of things happened, and we're going to explore them now. When you plug in the USB-C cable to the Jackboard Basic, the first LED to turn on will be the USB LED, and this tells you that the Jackboard Basic is getting power from the PC. The next two LEDs to turn on will be the ones at the bottom, which are the 5 volt and 3 volt power supply LEDs, and these indicate that the 3 volt and 5 volt power lines on the Jackboard Basic are working OK and getting power. Finally, the activity LED will begin to flash, and the colors that it flashes tell you something about the status of the Jackboard. The activity LED will flash one of these four colors. If it's purple, it means the web helper is not connected, and you need to check your Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser to make sure that it is. When it flashes yellow, this means that it's connected to the helper, but it's not connected to the virtual jackboard. In this case, check that your virtual jackboard is running. And when it flashes blue, this means that it's connected to the virtual jackboard, and all is well, you're good to go. And finally, if it flashes red, this means that either the 3 volt or the 5 volt power supply has had a fault and has been turned off. If the activity LED does start flashing red, first of all disconnect everything you've got plugged into either the 3 volt or 5 volt power supply lines on the Jackboard Basic, and that includes the ones on the port A, port B, C and D. And after that, check what's going on and unplug the Jackboard Basic from the USB and plug it back in and see if the fault goes away. In the next video, we're going to start to learn about the Jackboard Dashboard, which is a web-based interface where you'll be using your Jackboard Basic. To get directly to the next video, visit jb.works and search the TMT code shown on your screen. For more information, visit jb.works.